Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is the day. I promised to have a special guest. We will have him shortly. Right after I talk to you about my version of the labor and delivery part for all three of my pregnancies. Said guest recalls the event quite differently than I do. So you get to hear both sides today. How do I remember? I guess we should probably start talking about the birth plan that I had in mind. Obviously this is different for everyone. It depends on what beliefs and everything. For me, I knew I wanted to go natural as much as possible, but of course, baby's life, my life were more important, so whatever had to be done to make sure everybody was healthy, this is what I wanted. I stayed away from medications and epidural. I wasn't a big fan for personal reasons. Fast forward a few months, I'm sitting at home comfortably. We have attended our prenatal classes. We're ready. We are ready for this. And you know, I, I feel one contraction. Like, okay, well, I guess this is what a contraction feels like. And I got, you know, some massages, we had dinner, and you know, everything was fine. So we went to bed maybe an hour or two later. And suddenly I remember waking up. Something woke me up. I, don't, I didn't know what it was. Rushed to the bathroom, like I felt the urge to go. So I'm sitting on the toilet, nothing's happening. Like, okay, and meanwhile, contractions are coming. So my husband calls the hospital, which was what we were told to do when such timing and see how close my contractions were. So they tell us to come in, we do. We hadn't had a hospital visit and I don't know. I can't honestly say that I remember what happened. All I remember was being in pain and being transported on a wheelchair from one place to another. I had pre-registered months before and all my papers were ready so I just got to the delivery room. Got there, got my um, antibiotics as I mentioned before. I was GBS positive so I had to have antibiotics right before delivery. Most of the rest for me was a blur. I remember having a lot of back pain, a lot of back pain. And I was switched to different positions, massages here and there. I was really thirsty, hungry, but most of all, I was sleepy. It was two or three in the morning. Here I was in pain, my body's ready to give birth. And it was like a circus. <laughs> I think because there were nurses here and there. I remember being told to push and here I was right then and there. Like, wait, I, I felt like my body was supposed to know when to push, not me being told to push. So when they told me that, suddenly I'm like, how do I push? <laughs> I remember asking myself that question. So anyway, long and the short of it is about six hours after my first contraction, my baby was born. And I did end up having an episiotomy just because the pushing was so hard and long because I didn't know what I was doing. So the I had a little bit of a tear there. Delivered the placenta, I got my stitches, and I was sore for a bit. So because there were a little bit of complications, it wasn't anything too extraordinary, but they had to bring her back to the back room and get suction and get the rest of the amniotic fluid out of her lungs. I forgot to say that we didn't find out if she was a girl or a boy in the ultrasound, so when she came out, the doctor said, congratulations, it's a girl. My first thing was, really? Because the whole pregnancy I was sure it was a boy. So anyways, when they gave her to me and I looked in her eyes and the first thing I could think of, she's perfect. End of the day, baby's healthy, mama's healthy. That's all that mattered to me. The end, ladies and gentlemen, that was my first experience. Labor and delivery, that's what I can remember for all the blur and everything that was going around. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave some comments, feedbacks, I welcome them, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.